Hey guys, Pete over here, so let's go with the cards. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. So everyone, thank you so much for sending in the cards. Uh, the caps are going in a big jar and these are gonna go in a new spot. We are running out of room where to hang these, but keep sending them in. The contest is still on for the Door County Cottage State. <coughs> Not original. What I ask, uh, were oh, they like, from like original, vintage, you know, 60s, like, you know? Yeah. So, but they're still yeah, 20 cool. years ago. So this one got a little bit like a water damage or yeah, something. Yeah, my it sump pumps went out. Really? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of staining, but still are sealed. So, but that obviously will affect a little bit of of value on it. You know, this yeah. one is really nice. You probably had them like this or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to get out of them? What are you thinking? I mean, I looked them up. Some of them sell them 70 to 100. Okay. Let's see. So, people could ask whatever they want, but let's see what they yeah. actually sold here. So, 80 bucks, 95, 64. Wow, I don't know why that one went for 25. Somebody put it on auction, oh, but really? it went for only 25 bucks. Wow. But there's a 100 one here, 55. Yeah. So, a little bit all over the place. Um, I think that, I mean, the way usually I do things, you know, I pay about half what I can get out of it, right. you know? So yeah, I, I, I've I been think, watching for a yeah, long time. I, I think this one is in a little bit better condition, obviously, because of yeah. the water damage. So I'm pretty confident that I might get, you know, hundred bucks out of this one. This one probably going to be like 30, 40% less because, yeah. you know, of what it is. So, um, 50, 30. Did that work? That works. Works, 80 bucks? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah. I've been watching for a long time. Yeah? I've, I've had these sitting in the basement for years, 20 years. Yeah. And I go, what would I bring to Pete if I came in? Perfect. So. Awesome. So I got this really, really cool item that I picked up. Unfortunately, there was no video of me negotiating for this, but I still want to show it off because it's such a unique piece. I never had it before. Little tiny case. It's a portable, portable typewriter. And the box is a little rough. The front actually comes off. This slides out. And it's got tools for the cleaning tools and adjustment tools for this unit. But look how cool it is. This is uh, Corona. That it's actually so tiny that you have to unfold it like this to get it into the operational stage you know such a unique piece i never had it this has a little little cleaning um brush probably to to clean out the numbers or get the dust out of the handles in between it is very dirty it needs a cleanup but it's so unique i never had anything like this um, I have no idea what I'm going to be asking on it. I can't find one. I got to do a little bit more research on it. But I just wanted to share it with you guys because I never had one before. And this one is called Corona, the personal writing machine. There's actually no number on it. Corona typewriter company, great in New York. Fantastic piece. Love it. Do you know if the cassette player still works on yeah. it? Everything yeah, works, everything yes. works everything on it. Works. Okay, try it. You can try it. So let's try the radio first. Yeah. Where's the power button on this thing? Right here. Where's the button that makes it explode? You not even remember. There's a there's a buffer. You push the buffer. Okay. If it says something like buffer there, boom boom. Well, it's got like this power drive woofer. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's the one you... I had these before. They're, they're, they're pretty loud, you know? <laughs> Don't get up there. I know. We got something going. I 
forget about this. Yeah. You know what? That, that is all, all time, you know, we're not even remember those things. <laughs> no, but I'm trying to figure out how do I switch it between CD Cities. or just hit play, I think. Hit play, I guess, yeah. I got our cool. tight and toned okay, good. Work, workout cassette. Oh, what's this? Is one there? A free cassette. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he has some music there. Nice, okay, so we know that one works good. Let's see, you're ready. Down and lifting. Now palms yeah. up. This is my favorite one. Lifting. Oh. Up, touch, up, touch. <laughs> I listen to this one all the time. Up, right. Touch. All right. Looks like it runs good. Okay. Uh, what are you looking to get out of it? Yeah, uh, give me it. 25 bucks to pick, okay? 25 bucks? Yeah. Looks clean, sounds good. Nothing's broken, everything no, works. Clear, nice, clear, nice, clear, nice, 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 clean. Nice. All right, you got 25 bucks. Got I appreciate you, it. Thank you. Thank you. I do need your ID so I can write sure. you up. Okay. You know anything about them? Nope, just found them on the street. One okay, here, one so there. this one is silver 925. Okay. And this one. This one actually doesn't have any markings, but it looks to me like it's also silver. What did I get for? So, I, to be honest with you, at the moment I'm kind of not buying silver jewelry. I am buying gold. What do you need? Twenty bucks. I'll give you ten bucks. Five bucks a piece. Yeah. I can't. You know what I mean? Thank I'll you. help you out, but I. Uh, All right, well, I, I'm trying to get there. Yeah. So I do need your idea. I'll write you up. Small there you go. Next All right. Time. Take care. So, did you collect these yourself, or what's the story with these Soviet? Uh, I bought them all. You bought them all, so you his dad? No, yeah. I okay. think the, the metals were on the head. Oh, so you bought the head like this? Yes. Okay. And then you got military patches on the other side. That's the main Russian star there. Man, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. Although there's also here Olympics, there's a newer Russian flag. There's Lenin. It is pretty cool. Now, as far as money-wise, how cool it is, you know, <laughs> what are people are willing to pay for something like this, especially when it's Russian stuff. Uh, what are you trying to get out of this? Any idea, guys? Well, for the amount of metals on it, uh well, they're pins. They're not metals. I mean, really, I think the only one that it's actually related as being issued is the front one here. And maybe this one? For a university of something? I'm not 100% sure, but... What are, you, what are you guys thinking? Well, for all of it on there and the hat itself, I was thinking like somewhere around 35 bucks. He said 35 bucks. Uh, I tell you what, I think, I think I can probably get about 150 to maybe 185 bucks out of this head. That's what I'm thinking. And I usually offer about half what I can get. So on a safe side, let's say I will get 150 bucks, I can offer you like 75 bucks. I'll, I'll double what you're asking because I think I can, uh, I'll do okay at $75 on it. It, it is kind of unique. You got these patches too on it. So, unfortunately, this. It's just brought in just to see what. Yeah. Idea. I, I think this I'm going to pass. Right. I just don't do it with older software like that, you know? So. It's uh, a neat item, bring it in. So yeah. But I will do the head, so right. if I can have your idea, I'll write you up. Yep. 20, 40, 60, 75, okay? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Here we got a 1938 Arasaka. Japanese? Japanese bayonet. I no longer have the rifle. Original sheet to it? Yep. I don't have the frog. The frog was just disintegrated. Okay. Yeah, that's usually what happens, you know? The blade is still pretty decent overall, and nobody really messed with it, which is good. Nope, you know? it's all original. The guy who bought the rifle, I said, hey, why don't you just take this with you? No, I don't want that. Okay. Yeah. And it's got, it was decommissioned, it's got correct hey. marking on it, so it's all legit. What do you, what do you need to get out of it? Oh, I was thinking maybe 35 bucks. 
That's a very fair price, actually. Um, well, I know what they go for. Right? I mean, it's all conditioned, right? So when 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 it has a sheet and an overall it's decent like yours, it's it, I will I will do okay with it. Now when they get rusty, missing a sheet, then not so much. But yeah, I'm good with 35. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. I do need your idea, right? Sure. Yeah. 35. Yeah. Awesome. Let me look around a little bit. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. And hopefully somebody will combine that with uh, all the necessary parts to make it complete again. Yes, I don't think the... Uh, hey guys, before we end today's video, guess what? Giveaway again. Why? Because the person who won this on a previous video have not contacted me. So we are giving away. I already plugged it in and we chose another winner. And another winner is Dirk Diggler. I'm not gonna read this. You guys can pause the video and read the comment. I think it's hilarious. So Dirk, you are the lucky winner of this dispenser. Please shoot me an email. My, it's in description. My email is in description. We can exchange some information and this dispenser is gonna be heading your way. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.